Hey guys, we have a God that can relate to us. Got a minute? I want you to think about how awesome it is that the God of the universe, the one that has power and control over all, he can relate to the experiences that you are having every single day. Hebrews says this, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one that has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet was without sin. In God's experience here on earth, he can now relate to us and the struggles that we go through every day. And now we are walking just as Christ walked. To live as Christ and to die is gain. So to live is to be Christ here on the earth. There are hardships and there are temptations that we have to go through in order for us to be able to relate to others. Sometimes we believe or we pray for something and we don't see it. We don't see the the end goal of what it is that we pray for, even if we believe it, even if we have enough faith. And it's because God is preparing us to relate to certain people. There are certain things that can open doors that, that you're going to have that other people can't. We know in Romans 8, it talks about how God works out all things for the good of those who love him. The reason God brought you through that hard time, now all of a sudden it clicks because all of a sudden I am able to minister to this person and it's because of a previous experience that I hated while I was going through it. But I'll tell you, as you go through hardships and as you start to see different things, I promise you in time, you are going to see a connection to the people that you serve. And that connection is going to open a door. And that open door is going to be for you to be able to minister. And you're going to thank God for the rough experiences that you had that makes it able for you to relate and minister to these people. Thanks for taking a minute.